One of the questions I receive on a fairly regular basis is can I run BTC Recover on a mobile phone? Because not everybody has access to a desktop PC. The simple answer for iPhones is no, just because Apple is a very locked down ecosystem. However, if you're someone who is running an Android smartphone, you may actually be able to run BTC Recover using Termux. And the important thing I want to say right at the gate is running BTC Recover on an Android phone in this way is really something you would only do if you're curious, want to just explore the tool, or as an absolute last Last resort in that it is much easier to install BTC Recover on a Windows, Mac or Linux machine uh, and is something that is tested and is going to be a lot more reliable. But let's get into it. And if you haven't already done so, hit subscribe and that way you can stay in the loop for content I make to help you find your way in a crazy and often hostile environment that is cryptocurrency. So basically for this video here, I'm just going to be using a Galaxy S21 running Android 14. And the first important thing to say right out the gate is one of the challenges with Termux is your mileage may vary dramatically depending on your phone. But the very first thing we're going to do is head over to the BTC Recover documentation. And we're basically going to be following the bouncing balls. So we'll go through installation and testing and installing BTC Recover. Though in terms of Termux, we're going to do these things in a slightly different sequence. So the first step we actually want to do is install Termux itself. And the important thing to note here is the best place to get Termux is not from the Google Play Store. The version on Google Play is actually not up to date. Uh, so I'll just be taking you through the official Termux website and we will get it that way. So basically we will just go to the official website here. And look, we will just download it directly off GitHub. And we'll just follow the bouncing ball. We'll go to the GitHub releases page. And look, rather than download a pre-release, which may have other bugs in it, we'll go for the latest actual release, which will be tagged like this. And let's see. And yes, unfortunately, all of those file names are clipped off. But if we go into landscape, basically, we'll just download the universal APK. Our phone will warn us that this is not an official app and could harm our phone. So we're going to say we're going to download it anyway. Now, this universal downloader should work regardless of your Android phone. But if you can't uh, manage to work out how to get this installed off GitHub, uh, you know, downloading and installing the F-Droid sort of app store and installing it off there might be a better solution for you. And as a last resort, you could install it off Google Play, but again, that is an older version and will cause additional issues down the track when you try and get BTC Recover running. There we go. And that has finished downloading. So we can just run it with package installer. It's going to complain about security again. So we have to grant permission to install the app. <laughs> it's going to complain again. So we'll just say install anyway. App installed. Open. Okay. So this is Termux. We don't need to see notifications. I'll just get rid of the keyboard there so we can actually see what is going on. But the thing that is nice about Termux is you can actually copy and paste into it quite nicely. So if we just go back to the documentation, once we have installed Termux, basically we need to install Python, Git, as well as a bunch of other build requirements. And this line here is what we want. So we are just going to select all of that. Pretty painful on the touch screen, but it does work. And we'll say copy. And then we'll go back into Termux and we will just long click and just say paste and hit enter. And it'll sit there and think about it for a minute. All right, do you want to continue? So we'll just say yes. It's going to download and install like a gig of stuff. So this might take a while. Okay, so now that has installed the requirements that we need. So what we can do now is we can actually download BTC Recover. So the best way to do that uh, on this is actually to use git. So the command we want is this one here. Basically, we'll just select to clone it straight off git. And we can just paste that command in there and say go. There we go. And we'll just go into the BTC Recover folder. And to autocomplete commands, we can actually hit tab, which is this key here. So we'll just press that. And say enter and now we're in the BTC recover folder. So from here installing the requirements uh, is actually the same as usual. So we're just going to stick with the base requirements. So we're just going to run this command here. Okay. 
and then paste this in. Now, this is actually gonna take a while because it's gonna download and build all of these requirements from source rather than just download pre-built binaries. So I'll just hit go on that. And there we go. So that has basically installed all of the requirements we need for most basic and common types of recoveries. And we can then just test our installation here. Copy that. And paste that in. And hit go. And there we go. So we can see that that is done. It has skipped. Uh, you know, 36 tests for the first part and 90 for the second, just because not all of the different requirements for full functionality are there. Uh, but still, that's pretty good. That definitely cover a large number of recoveries that people are trying to do. And the important thing to note in terms of security is if you have gotten this far in the installation process, installed BTC Recover, verified that everything works, now is the time to take your phone offline. So put your phone into airplane mode, make sure it is not connected to the internet, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or anything like that before you go sticking your seed phrase into it. You know, it's really important to take seriously that the only safe way to run BTC Recover is on a totally offline system, and that the only safe time to bring a system back online where you've entered your seed phrase into it is after you have moved your funds off the wallet onto a new one. In terms of performance, it's actually not that bad. So if we, for example, just go into a usage example and just go into a basic seed recovery, um, you know, let's just say, you know, a basic Bitcoin wallet where someone has lost one of the words. This is extremely common. We'll just copy the usage example and just paste it right in. say copy and paste. So if we just copy that usage example for one missing word and hit go, uh, we'll see that it will basically just run through and find the correct seed in a matter of seconds. And you can see there the last missing word was actually baby. And to be entirely honest, for most of the recoveries that I do for people or help people with in private sessions, a single typo in their seed phrase or a single missing word is often the problem. So that bit of functionality is there, it works quickly on mobile, so definitely very useful. And if we want to see how fast it's actually going, what we'll do is we'll just delete another word from the seed. So there's two missing words that'll force it into the fourth phase, which means we'll have plenty of time to stabilize the speed. And look, we'll just type no ETA. No ETA. And hit go. And we can actually see that, uh, yeah, the phone is running at around 60,000 uh, passwords per second. Uh, which means it's checking 60,000 seeds per second. So yeah, that's definitely you know nothing like what a desktop computer would do, but it's uh, still very usable. So we'll just hit Control C and cancel that. The other thing that actually does work with minimal hassle is the requirements full. .txt for every single coin and wallet type BTC Recover supports. This one does take ages to build though. And there you go. So you can actually install the full requirements as well. So there you go. That is BTC Recover running on Android via Termux. And it's important to say that while the performance here was only a quarter to a third of a, let's call it standard desktop PC that you might expect today, you know, they're still very usable, allowing you to recover uh, up to two missing words from a BIP39 seed in under a day. You know, definitely very useful. It's really important to say that there are all sorts of other issues with Termux and Android. Maybe your phone can't thermal handle uh, the cooling required to be able to run flat out like this. Uh, maybe Android might just decide the process is using too much memory or CPU and just kill it. Uh, or your phone might have other peculiar issues that make Termux difficult to use. And again, this is why Termux isn't really a supported platform. You know, if it doesn't work, you just need to use a PC. But still something that might be useful to a bunch of people. If you've had any experiences trying to run BTC Recover in Termax or any other environment, you know, I'm definitely keen to hear your experiences in the comment section. And finally, if you are trying to recover your wallet and are stuck and need some help, you can actually just request either a private session or a trusted recovery just on my website. But other than that, stay safe.
Thanks for watching, I hope that was helpful. Hit like if you think that other people would find this video useful and hit subscribe if you'd like to be kept in the loop about future content I make that helps people stay safe in the crypto space and to recover if they get into trouble. If you have any questions about this video or a topic that you'd like me to cover, just leave a reply.